channel i do hope you're doing well now i would say that i'll uh, lift this bag again but if you saw from the thumbnail they're pretty darn heavy let me tell you that but my lovelies i feel like we're slowly looking the autumnal vibes we've got the pumpkin cushions in the bag i've got the autumnal checkered flannel shirt and i am loving life right now we have got two huge bags my lovelies of autumnal goodness with maybe a few little halloween bits in so let's just say Shannon Lee stop rabbiting and get in with Home Bargains Hall September the 1st of the monthly autumnal bargain shops. I'm so excited. <laughs> so my lovelies, I'm just going to deal with the bag that is here. And as I say, apologies for the lighting again. It's like Blackpool Illuminations. Now we've got all of the uh, bulbs done, which is fabulous. Now, oh Lord, I don't know what to start with. Should we start with something autumnal? slash halloween i mean kick it off as good as we can get they had so much in there but i only got a few bits i think i'm going to try and get some more in october however my lovelies they had halloween bits next to grinch pajamas the christmas aisles are at now we all know i love christmas however physically and mentally i can't deal with that right now i am autumn and halloween galore okay so i saw this i probably definitely didn't need another glass Definitely not if you saw the um, Hello Autumn vlog. I've got plenty of glasses, but I just love this. Just a nice little clear one. I might even take this to work. I might actually take this to work. I think this is about 129, 149. And apologies for me wispy hair back here. Hair wash day tomorrow, you know, so we're dry shampoo in life. They had it in black and orange as well, but I think I've got an orange one. I may or may not be mistaken, but I think I have an orange one already. So I thought I'd get a nice little clear one and I thought it's a nice little way to start the haul. Okay. And you know what is even better? And my lovelies, these couldn't come out at a more perfect time because it's not Mother Nature, but it has been one of the most stressful weeks at work that I could ever possibly bloom and imagine. All right. So I know I'm supposed to be on my health kick like one month to the holiday. Everything's going to plan. No. I saw these and best believe I'm going to be tucking into them tonight. My lovelies, share bag, aka Shannon bag. We've got the sizzling steak baked watsis. And yes, I will sit and demolish this whole pack in one sitting, okay? One pound, one pound. And let me tell you, this will give me such great chill vibes. Oh, oh mother G, what does she want? Sorry about this, my lovely. She's always interrupting the thing, ain't she? She tries to text bless me. I'm just like, <laughs> it's not working. Right. Let's carry on. We've got a few cleaning bits as well. And the cleaning bits, however, are could potentially be seen as spring and summer. So we're not going to go there because the colours. It's all they had. I got a giant sif cream because I know that mum was running out of it. And it was always handy to have. I think this was about one twenty one fifty for the big bottle. So I don't know if that is slightly an increase. I'm not entirely sure. Um, we all know with cleaning products, I just kind of chuck them in and be done with it. But I think some things may have potentially gone up. I did get another washing up liquid in the Apple Fresh. No wintery autumnal scents yet this was i think 60p so i don't believe these have gone up you can sometimes get them on special for two for a quid but they didn't have any other flavors normally it's lemon i believe but they didn't have it so we've got some apple fresh because mum was like when are you going to the bargain shop i'm running low i'm like all right she did give me a list and i'm not gonna lie um i kind of forgot the list forgot the list and um <laughs> needed to go back to get the list and then forgot the list again so it's quite an eventful day to say the least all right it was quite an eventful day um yes i think i might have to venture to another bargain shop this month to try and get the bits that she actually needs i tell you what i did actually need a returning favorite makate gold these are the double chock mockers and oh my god my love this it says new improved so i am blooming excited about this one all right i am excited you get one pack which holds 10 sachets for a pound you get caramel latte i did see a toffee nut latte so they are slowly coming in with the autumnal festive scents let's just say scents flavors but yeah these are an absolute go-to if you don't go to the bargain shops okay and get number one your drinks and number two your coffee sachets what are you doing don't be paying the prices of the supermarkets all right 
Now, I saw this for 70p and this just screamed my blooming name. I think I've had one of these before in a strawberry daiquiri flavour. And it's Parrot Bay, which is a rum company. I have a strawberry and a watermelon rum in the drink supply. The drink supply is real. That's all going to be coming out next uh, summer, let me tell you. And it is a frozen pina colada. So it's basically an alcoholic slush. You have to just freeze it for eight hours, squeeze it or run under hot water for three minutes, and then you're ready to go. They had so many flavours, but it was like margarita. Um, I think there was a passion fruit martini, but you know if it's pina colada. Your girl's getting pina colada. Well, right, she is getting a pina colada. And what she also got was something she didn't need, and mum specifically put on the list, no N-O hand washes. Well, I saw this new little brand and I blooming fell in love, so I had to pick one up. This was like 75p and it's by Ineos, Ineos Science and Performance. Cleansing hand wash with four added moisturisers and purifying essential oils. I just saw it and I thought it was really cute. So before I knew it, it ended up in the trolley. This is why mum said as of next year she wants to come bargain shopping with me because I go with the list, I forget the list, and then I still end up detouring and getting very, very, would you say diverted? <laughs> I just pick up whatever I want, didn't I? I got a little bit, wow. But oh, I did get these for mum. You would have remembered, I picked these up a few months ago. So these are 120 or 150, I believe, and they're Jaffa Jonuts. You get four in here. I wasn't a fan. I'm not going to lie, my lovelies. I thought it was all over chocolate, and it weren't. It kind of... It weren't, it weren't a fan of me, or I weren't a fan of it, let's say. Mama G, however, I blooming loved it. So she polished off the last box and she said, please try and get some of these. So I saw them. I was going to pick up some little mini bags of Jaffa Cakes for me, but thought, hmm, maybe not. Mama G, she got her Joe Nuts. She was very, very happy, to say the least. What did I get? Oh, I got myself some snacks. Some sweeties. These were 69p from Taverners, which I think Taverners is like... The old school brand because it done like rhubarb and custard, um, bullseyes, mint humbugs, pastels, everything like that. I picked up spearmint chews. Oh my God, who remembers these? Because when mum saw them, she was like, ew, ew. I loved a spearmint chew growing up. I don't know why. I love these. I like like milk chews. If anyone remembers the little milk chews, tell me down below. I thought these were fabulous. And these are now going to live in my car for when I just want a little... A little treat, you know. The only thing, you can't eat too many of these. I do notice if I eat a lot, I get really bad belly pains. Probably because it's like chewing gum in a way. Well, it's edible chewing gum, I say, because it's spearmint. You're not supposed to eat loads of them at once. So, yeah. Kind of have to ration myself on them before I make myself blooming ill. Returning favourite bin bags. Eight heavy duty dustbin liners. These are, I think, 89 or 99p. Under a quid. Mum really likes these because these are perfect when she's doing the gardening to put like the twigs and that in because they are quite durable. I probably wouldn't advise putting like really sharp tree barks in but like if you've got weeds and twigs and like a little bit of bindweed, they're really good. And also for when she's doing a big decluttering and she just wants to chuck everything or put stuff in bags to go to the charity shops, then that is what she has because Mama G is very particular even down to her bin bags. I live with her. I know how particular she can be, my lovelies, all right? Now, don't shout at me. Please don't shout at me. I really didn't need this. Like, legit, I didn't need this. I just saw it, however, and was like, you're kind of autumnal, and you're one of my favourite colours at the moment. It's not just a shower gel. It's a triple XL shower gel. This was £1.50 or £2. It's Radox Therapy Feel Refreshed, blended with minerals, eucalyptus and citrus oil scent. So, I haven't actually smelt this yet. I kind of just picked it up on a whim. I'm hoping, however, it's going to kind of be like the blue one. Oh. Oh, that is blooming fantastic. Oh, I'm happy I bought that now. I don't care. This is going to go alongside like my Radox Muscle Salts for when my... Um, oh, what's my phone going? Let's have a look. Mama G, you're going to have to wait a minute, darling, because I've got filming to do, all right? Um, yeah, these are going to go along with my Radox Bath Salts because, yeah, I'm feeling refreshed. That is what I need to feel right now. So best believe after this, your girl's going to be having a nice chilled bubble bath. Let me tell you that. 
Let's have a look. What have we got in here? It's a bit of everything, isn't it? I picked this up for 50p. Just some candy floss. Vimto candy floss. Just for when I fancied a little sweet treat, you know? We all know I used to love candy floss. But I would find myself eating the huge tubs from TK Maxx. You know, the £4 ones. The ones that, like, you get at um, Pumphers and uh, Seasides. That's probably a bit easier on the heart and everything. Canon, have we gone a little bit overexposed, darling? I have had this camera for probably over two years and I still don't know how to change the settings. We'll set it on auto and I'm just going to go with it, okay? Oh, these were an absolute bargain. Right. Chia seeds, which I like to put in my overnight oats. I got a tiny, tiny bag from Holland and Barrett. I think that was about £2.50. I got 200 grams and I think it was £1.20. Look at how big this bag is. So if you are into your health and fitness or you just like adding stuff say porridges oats everything they had a really big selection which was like walnuts pistachios almonds chia seeds sunflower seeds all at a fraction price it's from the natural selection range and yeah i would highly recommend um holland and barrett ripped me on that but now i know that guess what i'm getting my stuff at the bargain shop as well we are loving life now this isn't really autumnal but this is practical i just picked up another 15 dry oil spf and a little piss and after sun the after sun is four pound instead of eight pound from boots half price and this i think is about three pound this is just my little tanning oil because i did open mine for when we had our heat wave and i was going over the field on my lunches and i have a fear of taking bottles that i've opened on holiday just purely because i think oh my god it's going to bloom and leak everywhere even though it's inside like a bag in a bag i just get worried so i thought you know what for three quid i'm just going to pick another one up and have that peace of mind you know these are a necessity these are well needed coming into the colder months again absolute bargain four for a quid my lovelies i got some galaxy hot chocolate sachets because as you know at work, all we have is a kettle. We don't have a coffee machine, anything like that. So stuff like my Makate Gold and these little sachets are an absolute lifesaver. Because I don't always fancy having like a tea or a fruit tea. These are going right in my drawer. And everyone will be like, can I have a hot chocolate? I'll be like, my hot chocolate. No, I will share. Sharing's caring, eh? another few drinks as i say if you don't get your drinks on the bargain shop what are you doing i got a bottle of cherry dr pepper this was i think 69 or 79p and then just a little can of rubicon this was 49p there are more drinks in here Mio. there are more drinks in here best believe that and oh well i'll tell you what i'll show you them now because i have never seen these and let me just tell you obsessed so if you know me when i have say my nice gins i have a brand of tonic from amazon called double dutch i get eight little um cans and i think they cost me about four pound fifty so first off double dutch cucumber and watermelon that is the flavor mixer i have these are 19p now if you're an og you will remember when i had the britvic bottles for 19p and how obsessed did i get with them i was buying 10 at a time right these are double the size of the cans and probably a fraction of the price. So we've got double dutch, cucumber and watermelon mixer. As I say, this is perfect with a tankery number 10 or a Gordon's lemon. Absolutely love this. I picked up a ginger ale. Not normally a ginger ale girl, but I thought this would be really nice with some rum. Coming into the colder months, the rum's going to start coming out. The gin's slowly going to make its way back in, but the rum is going to be the main thing. So yeah, we've got ginger ale and then... <laughs> the last one i don't quite know what i thought when i uh, picked this up i was clearly feeling spontaneous but it is a cucumber margarita soda with chili just add tequila i'm not really a fan of margarita i'm not gonna lie but i do like a bit of tequila so i thought you know what soda with chili though i really hope it ain't spicy i don't be wanting a spicy drink carbonated jalapeno cucumber flavor soft drink oh blooming marvelous maybe i could pour it in and like a tequila shot and we'll have a shot of this with it but yeah 19p if these are in next month best believe you girls were in stocking up especially on the cucumber and watermelon tonics like that's all i want for christmas mama g what do you want for christmas cucumber and watermelon 19p tonics think how much you could get with like say 20 quid 
I'll be sour. I could start my own brewery. Right. We've got, what's the next one? Toilet cleaner. The miracle stuff. Mum actually really liked this one. I think I got it a couple of months ago. Um, Normally we get, oh, what do we normally get? Is it duck? I think this is the same thing. No, duck's the coloured stuff that goes around, ain't it? Is this actually just what she uses to clean the toilet? It's not the stuff that like sits around the top of the room, is it? I've got so much to learn for whenever I have to move out, ain't I? I mean, I love picking all this cleaning stuff up, but I really haven't got a clue what on earth it does, have I? Don't say my channel ain't entertaining, eh? Can you imagine when I actually move out and do my own cleaning with me? I will, I'll have to have like a step-by-step -step of what product to use on what surface. So I'm going to be blooming hopeless. I picked up a little super rice. This is only 50p. I've got Chinese flavour. These are just quick and easy just to chuck in. I say because we're using a lot of chicken breasts out of the freezer at the moment. And sometimes I can't be bothered to doing like fresh brown rice. Having to do the veg stock cube. Put it in with the onion. Da 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 da. I just want to put some rice and water in. Let it be done with you know. And then oh I picked up some you know me Kerala herbs. Basil. 49p. I was going to pick up some garlic and then remembered again. Mum said we specifically do not need garlic because we've still got three tubs in there. I was like okay. So I've got some basil instead. Always got to get some herbs, you know, just to spice up the seasoning. Right. Two pound, okay? They've always been two pound. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure there used to be 10 in the tub and the tub used to be taller because these are the tubs that I used to do my oats in. So they are by Brompton House and they're premium coconut macaroons. Blooming delicious. I take these to work. But I'm sure that you used to get 10 in a pack and now it's down to eight. You're probably paying two quid because it is a reusable container and it's a good one. As I say, these are my oats. But it definitely looks like more shallower. So, um, yeah. That is not good. Especially when you're paying the same price for less quantity. Don't it just irate you? Irate you? Enrage you. That's the word. Maybe not for everyone, but I like my food. So, if I feel like I'm being made a fool out of, not happy. Not happy at all. Picked mum up a bleach. Seriously thick crystal white bleach. Removes stains and destroys odours. This is 69 p Couldn't find the pink or yellow one. I think mum's had this before. As I say, it's seriously thick. So it's uh, seriously good at its job, I would think. They did have a huge one. And I think it was like 150 But I didn't. It's going to sound so shallow. I didn't like the colour. It was blue. Pink and yellow goes with like themes or whatever and white goes with anything. Blue didn't really cut it for me. So yeah, we didn't get that one. We went with that. And then my last little like a uh, Halloween bit I picked up. Look. Did I need this? No. Did I see it fall in love? Absolutely. Because we all know I love a fake flower. And especially I haven't got any Halloween ones. My room, apart from my two little plain ones up there, looks bare with foliage. I've got nothing. I haven't got any fake plants about now look at my room spring and summer and i've got fake plants everywhere i've got roses daffodils whatever it is i just love this this was i think one pound 30 or one pound 50 they did have a ghost a black ghost frame but it was all chipped and marked so i thought you know what i'll stick with that i have no idea what this plant is um if anyone does know could you please tell me what this plant is i know it's fake it's got some little black stones at the top but yeah if anyone knows what it is i'd uh, be highly appreciative if you could tell me and my lovelies, oh, one bag done. And we've got a little friend for the second bag. <laughs> right. So I'm just going to start with the thing that is peeking out the bag. And yes, this is from a baby's range, okay? Um, they had this and they also had a life-size cuddable one. I really wanted the life-size cuddable one, but I knew I wouldn't have got it in the car. So we went with this. Now, hi, my name is Shannon, and I blooming love Care Bears. Well, I did when I was a kid. I used to watch them all the time, and I actually had a little dark pink Care Bear. I don't know. It might actually be in my toy chest. But I saw this, and it had the rainbow. They had the blue one, which I think had clouds, and the yellow one had the sun. But I always liked the rainbow, because this reminds me of my one from my childhood. This was $7.99, okay? And yes, it is meant to be for a baby. But it's actually not for me. I got it for Mama G. Because she loves Care Bears as well. And I was like, you know what? This can be your little treat. So when she makes up her bed, 
she's going to uh, have a new little toy on there. Not going to lie though, I might nick it for a little cuddle every now and then because it is very squishy. I don't want to put my face on her because she'll get covered in makeup. But yeah, it is from the baby range. It is a uh, Care Bear baby. I don't care though. I... I mean, do I want to go back and get the life-size one? Yes, the life-size one was £35. It just screamed my name, though. Like, you could sit it on a floor and, like, sink into it and it would, like, hug you. But for now, I just got mum this. So I'm going to say this is more for mum 90% of the time and probably 10% for me, you know? But, yeah, sneaking out the bag and reliving my childhood. And just seeing that just instantly, like, de-stresses me. That is how you know I am um, probably a four-year-old trapped in a 27-year-old's body. But hey-ho, we're not going to say anything, okay? <laughs> I got some healthy snacks for Nutri-Grain Strawberry for a quid. These are perfect for work because as it's getting colder, I don't want to be going to the snack man. So these, I actually find are really nice just heated up in the microwave for like 20 seconds because the inside goes all like soft and gooey. So yes, they are very good. I couldn't find any skinny bars in my store. That was a bit of a disappointment. No skinny bars. So I don't know what's quite happening with those. But uh, yeah, need to have some more of them. Right, I got these last month, I think. Oh my God, 50p, guys. They're basically a Powerade dupe. You would have seen these. I'm sure it was last month. The O'Shea Zero drinks. I picked up the lemon and the multi fruit. Basically Powerade dupes. If you remember Powerade, or in America, is it like Gatorade? Ours used to be Powerade. 50p for 750 mils. One pound for one and a half litre of energy drink. And it's zero calories, zero sugar, and they taste blooming delicious. If you see these, and not even like if you're into the gym, because I can do a whole one of these in the gym, like hydration is key. But even if you just want like some energy drinks that will give you the energy without all the baddies, that cannot recommend it highly enough all right my lovelies okay i've got this because i really did think it looked autumnal ozonic ozonic by fabulosa 99p still under a quid this is disinfectant i mean can we ever do a bargain shop haul canon without a disinfectant however i haven't smelt it yet we all know what i'm like shannon lee don't over inhale What's it going to be like, eh? Is it going to be autumnal? Oh my god, it's like aftershave. Oh my god, it's like a man's aftershave. I love that. Oh wow, I love that. So that's going to be mine. I did buy it for mum because she says she needs disinfectant. She'll have to take, I don't know, a summer pina colada one or whatever. I want this. Ozonic. Ozonic by Fabulosa. I did have a look down for Zaflora and Zaflora don't have any christmas scents out yet which i thought they would have had the flora are so big on christmas scents like winter morning and cinnamon and apples no cinnamon and orange what about autumn you could have pumpkin spice pumpkin spice latte pecan pie come on fabulosa and the flora please come through with the autumnal scents this year please 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 very random picked up a uh, bag of pita breads six large white pitas i think these were like 39p now, I, since cooking my chicken gyros for my fake away in August, have been blooming loving that seasoning recipe. I've been putting it on sausages we've had, some more chicken breast. I've had some mince I put it in. So I want these because I think I'm going to do maybe some more like kebab style dinners. And yeah, for 50p, you can't go wrong. It says, how do you serve it? Can be eaten cold or warm or put in the oven for one to two minutes and they don't look too bad per 100 grams well you're not gonna have 100 grams of that are you it's not too bad calorie wise either so you know what makes a change from having like brown bread brown wraps everything like that sometimes it's nice just to have a little bit of a change you know oh i did get another one did my friend put this in and i didn't realize i went with one of the people at work again and i don't know if they've popped this in without me realizing well hey ho i didn't see this so they must have seen it somewhere they probably seen me pick up the apple and thought she's gonna need two <gasps> so we've got a lemon one 50 percent extra free 69.79p oh that's all right so mum's been banging on she ain't got any well you got two of them now i shall have to thank my friend for that because i'll be like i had no idea that you got that so yeah kudos points to you oh my god these are insane 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 
They do um, grilled roasted peppers, and I've got sun-dried tomatoes in this one. Sunflower oil with extra virgin olive oil, 5%. Bella Rosetta. These are one pound, okay? Canon? Canon. So you get sun-dried tomatoes, grilled peppers. I think they do artichokes as well, but I'm not really an artichoke fan. These are perfect to go in salads, in spag bowls, on top of pizzas. I didn't manage to find any pizza bases. I was very, very sad because we used ours, as you would have seen, over August Bank Holiday. So I need to stock up on some pizza bases because pizza bases are key. And what else is key? Pack a gummy mix for Dada. Mum said, have a look, see if they had any sweets for him. Dexter's come through. You have got this big, big bag, which I think, how many grams is this i think it's 500 grams are you 500 don't even tell you i'm sure it's 500 grams and it's two pound you think how much that would cost you at the cinema again go to your bargain shops my lovely and it will sort itself right out oh my god i made a beeline for this when i saw it because we've run out returning favorite just because summer is out of the way doesn't mean I can't have a nice refreshing glass of iced tea in my new little pumpkin mug, okay? This is one pound. It's from the brand Quench, and it's instant lemon tea. You can have this hot or cold, my lovelies. Oh, if you like Lipton lemon iced tea, please, please, if you see this in your bargain shop, can you just try it for me? You will not be disappointed. It tells you the measurements on the back if you're making, say, a glass or a whole jug, what to use for hot or cold cannot fault it i make batches of this at a time because once i start i can't stop it just it's like addiction i'm like oh my god i need this in my life you know need this in my life and what else i need is another little rubicon 50p raspberry and pineapple nice little uh, drink there that we have right now it's really random really random Maybe I've got, I really don't remember half of this stuff. See, now I, this is my excuses time. I don't remember half this stuff. So I think my friend's just been putting bits and bobs in. Yeah. Because I don't remember picking up another one of these. Unless they picked them up for them and then didn't realise and just put it on. I'll have to ask her. Who knows? So, mint humbugs. I know mummy's partial to these, so unless she picked it up knowing it was for mum, I don't know. I don't know. But, hey-ho, mum's got a uh, little bag of mint humbugs, which I may partially be taking a few because I do love them as well, you know? We have very standard one, because if you all know the situation with our home, council don't want to know. We have to deal with all mould and razzle dazzle ourselves let's just say that so i've got a mold and mildew blaster apple burst this is from astonish this is one pound and we used to have the lemon one but mum's run out of it we just have it to like go over the areas of where it's prone to say mold come through and especially with the cold weather coming in i think mold spreads more in the cold weather which we definitely don't want doing i mean it's already ravaged one corner of my room behind my wardrobe as you all know i've lost pretty much the use of my end wardrobe because I have to keep the doors open now. So it's just kind of, kind of took a vibe off. But yeah, apple burst. I think that's kind of autumnal, right? Like Granny Smith apples. That's what I'm telling myself. That's what I'm telling myself, my lovelies. Picked mum up some sponges and cloths. Now, I haven't been able to get the big pack of 10 or 20 sponges that she normally has. I don't know if there's a shortage at all, but I got these Spontex and that dishwasher in, dishwasher in? dishwashing sponge scourers non-scratch so it's three and i think these are like 40 or 50p i think they're a slightly better brand i mean they look better quality got a nice little blue back there and white front so if they were pink they would be very very lovely but yeah got of those and then i got a for one pound jumbo dishcloths extra 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 i think you get four in this but they're like giant ones so i thought you know what because sometimes mum likes a giant cloth, or if not, she can just cut them down and use them as, like, rags for whatever she needs to do. Right, this really ruined my autumnal vibe, I'm not going to lie. I thought they would maybe have, like, a pumpkin one or even a cinnamon one I would have gone for, but no. So I've gone for Domestos, and it's called Flower Vibes, okay? It's limited edition, which was why I picked it up, because I thought it's not going to be around next month, hopefully. But yeah, just a little toilet. Now, what do they call these? Rim blockers? 
ring blocks. You know what I mean, my lovely. Picked one of those up. And then the last few final things I picked up, very boring. Very boring. We just got a Aquafresh Active Fresh with Menthol. 125 mil. Big pack of toothpaste, one pound. I am sickened at some of the prices of toothpaste. I don't know about you. Blooming disgusting, let me tell you that. And then I picked up a Dr. Pawpaw. Dr. Pawpaw is normally known for their lip balms. But I saw this and it's an age renewal soothing hand cream. And I picked this up for Mama G. It's in papaya flavour. 98% natural and it's vegan. And this was about £1.50. So a little bit pricey but I think it is because of the brand. Let's just give it a whiff, see if it smells nice. Oh, it feels really thick. Is it because it's got a topper on it? Yes. Well, I'm not going to open that because I say it's going to be for mum. But yeah, they had loads of different colours and things. So it was like nourishing and soothing. But I picked up Age Renewal Snoothing for Mama G. I love a bit of Dr. Pawpaw. I am a fan of their lip balms, actually. I just haven't got any more. Used them all up. But my lovelies, my bed is filled... And me and my new friend think that that's a haul done, ain't it, mate? Should we get on with the outro? <laughs> so, my lovelies, that is our first autumnal bargain shop haul done. And I do want to try and get to a few more this month because I just feel this is where they come alive. And I really want to try and get to B&M this month because B&M is normally the place for, like, homeware and decorations. However, I don't know how much more I can get in the house because it's kind of decorated to the nines and just remember i said that because there are plenty of hauls coming okay you girls had this week to do a lot of shopping and i just want to say now before we get into all of the hauls and everything like that my lovelies please i know in this time and current situation things are blooming tough i'm i'm feeling it okay but all of my hauls, apart from my bargain shops, bargain shops normally I will keep the majority of it because it's like household bits. If it's say like fashion, homeware, I will normally keep half and I do try and take the other half back because number one, we need to pull our horns in now with everything going on in the world. And number two, I like to get a selection though just to show you what's on offer. Please don't think when I'm showing you all of this that oh my gosh she's keeping everything. I as I say, sometimes I do keep half only on rare occasions like the asda video i did keep all of that because that was like bedding cushions it's homeware stuff but with say for example if there's a home sense haul coming maybe very soon um please don't think i'll be keeping all of that because as i say there's only so many autumnal and halloween things you can have in a household so i don't want anyone to think i'm bragging or showing off or i don't care trust me i'm feeling it i'm having to rein my horns in as well but that is the beauty of being able to pick stuff up, show you guys, and then return it, all right? I just wanted to get that out there because there are going to be a lot, a lot of hauls coming. And I don't want anyone looking in thinking everyone's struggling and she's out shopping all the time. Trust me, I feel it too. We're going to get through it, all right? But if you just want to, even if you buy something that's going to make you happy for a couple of days and then take it back, who is anyone to judge? Because I'm certainly not judging because sometimes I see things and I think, if I just pick that up for a couple of days... I'll get like the vibe of having it and then I'll be alright, I can take it back. I don't need to have something that permanent in my life, you know. But anyway, I'm blooming rabbiting as always. If you did enjoy the video guys, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment, what was your favourite bit from the haul? Do you think I'm an absolute child for picking this up? I think the answer is probably going to be yes because it's from the baby range, Shan. Um, what do we think of my little pumpkin? And yes, are you excited for autumn? Are you excited for the content? Do you like the new intros and outros and my banners? Because they'll all be up now. And yeah, I just really hope you enjoy the content. As I say, I feel like we're coming alive. There's going to be kind of, not a pause on the autumnal content, but there's going to be a little break halfway through, obviously, with October with the holiday. So yes, a lot of exciting things to come. We've got autumn, Halloween, holiday, winter, and then Christmas. The best months of the year. And you know what? soon before you know it's going to be vlogmas and you're going to be seeing me every day you see me six days in a week at the moment oh my god you're going to be blooming sick of me by the end of the year aren't you please don't be i mean there's plenty more autumn content and just yearly content i've started planning content for next year and i'm so excited i just want to see where we can go where we can grow and yeah Let's smash out the rest of 2022, my lovelies, okay? But as I say, take care. Stay safe as always. My inbox is always open. You know that. They're down below in the descriptions bar, my two Instagram accounts. Drop me a message. I might take a week to reply, but I will always reply to you, all right? 
So yeah, stay safe and I'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. <laughs> Bye guys!